Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, May 23rd, 2022. I hope you all enjoyed your amazing weekend. Now let's start off the week with a relaxing brain break. Hi, and for today's brain break in SEL technique, we will be representing feeling overwhelmed. <sighs> there's too much to go over and there's too much to study. No way I'm going to pass. Um, are you okay? No, there's just too much to go over, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to finish and fail. Oh. Yeah. Well, I was pretty overwhelmed for my test, too, but my teacher gave me some pretty good testing strategies. Oh, what did she tell you? Well, first, take a few deep breaths, then go over all the things you need to do to prepare yourself and take study breaks. Thank you. I'll most definitely try that. In this example, Destiny is very overwhelmed for her upcoming test. And Sonia gives great advice for when you're in this kind of predicament. Like she said, first take a few deep breaths, then go over all the things you need to prepare yourself and take study breaks. So study, relax, and prepare with us next time for our next brain break in SEL technique. Now let's go to word of the day. Hey Randy, I met your brother earlier. It's almost uncanny how much you guys look alike. Yeah, it's kind of strange given the age gap. Yeah, but I guess it's normal because you guys are siblings. Yeah, I also notice an uncanny resemblance to you and your dad. Oh yeah, people tell us we look alike all the time. Well, I guess we both have a strange resemblance to our family members. Yeah. See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. Now let's go to Valencia for the sports highlights. Thanks, Peyton. Sports fans, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today we are talking about the jump rope. Most people think it's child's play, but did you know that jump rope was originally a game for grown men? Jump rope or skipping was first done hundreds of years ago by Egyptians who used twisted vines for fun jumping time. Athletes used it as a part of their training routine. It became popular as a game in the Netherlands where Dutch people skipped for fun and for sport. This is where the name Double Dutch came from. The Chinese invented the ropes of braided cotton or nylon with handles for good grip. Today there are many different types, some which are light and made of plastics, and some are even made of metal for outdoor use, mostly exercise. Now let's go to Joshua to see what's cooking. Thank you, Valencia. Today's lunch sure is delicious. Popcorn chicken, baked beans, sunsplash veggie juice, applesauce, barbecue sauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teacher know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Joshua. That sounds delicious. The book fair is almost here. It's tomorrow, Tuesday, May 24th through Friday, May 27th. Don't forget to let your parents know. Teachers, check the schedules to see when it's your class's turn. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Scholars, the academic celebrations are tomorrow and Wednesday. Great job to all of our Patriots who got an award. Now let's go to Angeli for today's weather. I hope it's going to be nice and sunny. Thank you, Peyton. And hey, Patriots. Today, you can expect a sunny 88 degrees and partly cloudy skies. It's a great day to get some fresh air. In other weather news, many people find little bugs and insects around their home, and the first reaction is to call an exterminator. However, not all bugs are bad. For example, spiders might look spooky, but they're actually harmless. By keeping them around, they'll also eat other pests like mosquitoes and knots. Also, centipedes may look freaky with all the legs that they have, but they are a great help if you have annoying bugs like moths. So next time you try to kill a small bug, think about how it can help you. Now let's go to Chanel for the Hot Topic. Hey Patriots, I'm Chanel and welcome to Hot Topic. Destiny's not here right now, so I'll be your host today. Now let's see what's trending this week. I know we've all heard about the world's most expensive house, Buckingham Palace, being worth $1.55 billion, but have you heard of the world's most expensive car? 
Earlier this month, a 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR u Hunlet Coupe was auctioned at a whopping $142.9 million. Who has that kind of money? But on a more non-pricey note, Patriots, if you have a friend or a sibling that is graduating this year, they could get free donuts. I'm not kidding. Dunkin' Donuts is giving out free donuts to graduates of 2022. I throw my cap off for some donuts anytime. Hey Patriots, I know that we love to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month and Black History Month, yet I've never heard about this heritage. For the month of May, it's Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. Shout out to all the Patriots that are celebrating their heritage. I don't know if you guys have heard about this one on the news, but teachers are really funny. This teacher takes a heartfelt memory from her mom and gives it to her students as she sings to them in Mandarin about making dumplings. This has to be the cutest news I've heard in a while. Well, on that note, that's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Aiden for the birthdays. Thank you, Chanel. Today's birthday boy is Ray and Aryan and Idel Montesino. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Aiden. And I wish you all a happy birthday, Patriots. Scholars, here are your past expectations. They are present, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Only, Ms. Stone, Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Samuel, and Ms. Ian Denqua. You all had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, who wrote Romeo and Juliet? The correct answer is William Shakespeare. Now teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Which type of fish is Nemo? Please send your answers to pies.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV will to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!